The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. My brothers, I am quite sure that you in particular are full of goodness, fully instructed and capable of correcting each other. But I have special confidence in writing on some points to you to refresh your memories because of the grace that was given to me by God. I was given grace to be a minister of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles, dedicated to offer them the gospel of God so that Gentiles might become an acceptable offering, sanctified by the Holy Spirit, so I can be proud in Christ Jesus of what I have done for God. Of course, I can dare to speak only of the things which Christ has done through me to win the allegiance of the Gentiles, using what I have said and done by the power of signs and wonders, by the power of the Spirit of God. In this way, from Jerusalem and all around, even as far as Elyricum, I have fully carried out the preaching of the gospel of Christ. And what is more, it has been my rule to preach the gospel only where the name of Christ has not already been heard. For I do not build on another's foundations in accordance with scripture. Those who have never been told about him will see him, and those who have never heard about him will understand. And our response is from Psalm 98. Sing a new song to Yahweh, for he has performed wonders. His saving power is in his right hand and his holy arm. Yahweh has made known his saving power, revealed his saving justice for the nations to see, mindful of his faithful love and his constancy, to the house of Israel. The whole wide world has seen the saving power of our God. Acclaim Yahweh all the earth, burst into shouts of joy. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus also said to his disciples, there was a rich man and he had a steward who was denounced to him for being wasteful with his property. He called for the man and said, what is this I hear about you? Draw me up an account of your stewardship, because you are not to be my steward any longer. Then the steward said to himself, Now that my master is taking the stewardship from me, what am I to do? Dig? I'm not strong enough. Go begging? I should be too ashamed. Ah, I know what I will do to make sure that when I am dismissed from office, there will be some to welcome me into their homes. Then he called his master's debtors, one by one. To the first, he said, how much do you owe my master? One hundred measures of oil, he said. And the steward said, here, take your bond, sit down, and quickly write fifty. To another, he said, and you, sir, how much do you owe? One hundred measures of wheat, he said. The steward said, here, take your bond and write eighty. The master praised the dishonest steward for his astuteness. For the children of this world are more astute in dealing with their own kind than are the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord.